Good morning, Freedom fans. Time to start another day of fun and skating. Today we're going from Manville, New Jersey to Princeton, New Jersey. I started out this morning, I'm skating along, and I was like, wow, this feels good. This feels great, refreshing. Wow, this skate, this skate feels too good. Something's weird. What's going on? I started out without a helmet. Come along, let's have some fun. Ah, the wonders of the road. Even when you're skating, you cannot get away from road construction. What are you gonna do? What a random find. There must be another individual skating across the country going under the name of the Freedom Skater. Weird, and this must be his follow vehicle. How odd. This is gonna be in the documentary. I can feel it. Oh, no, because I just ruined it. I ruined it. Go ahead, go ahead. What's your name? Joe, supporting the Freedom Skater. Awesome. I'm Harry Kaufman. I'm supporting the Freedom Skater. Good stuff. And uh, I'm Newell Woodworth, and I'm supporting the Freedom Skater. Good stuff. Where are we at, guys? Uh, Princeton, New Jersey. Princeton, New Jersey. Cool. Fans of Freedom, we have arrived at our destination here in Princeton, New Jersey, at the Walmart. I gotta say, it was pretty smooth sailing today. Not too bad, pretty smooth pavement, a little bit lonely on the road, but overall, a good time. And I was sitting out here at the end of the skate, and I wanted to do a very special, deep, enlightening blog post for you since it's Friday, and I recorded something, thought, well, I guess that's okay, good enough, but I didn't really like it. But then this woman drives up, drives up in her car. Her name was Michael Marie Hill, I believe. And I was talking to her, she asked me what am I doing, and of course at this point I have to give my little 30 second spiel, which I've probably given three to four thousand times now, and I don't think I'm even exaggerating there. Explained it to her and she was very excited about it and said, well, are you accepting donations? And I thought, well, well yeah, we are accepting donations. The whole point is not to get donations the whole way across, but to make our own way. But, you know, we're not turning away the help when we can get it. So I said, yeah. She's like, all right, well, here. She pulls out $10 from her purse. She hands it to me and then she says something very insightful. She says, you know, it's all right with me because the more you give, the more you get. And I thought, yeah, yeah. Because this whole entire endeavor for me is a pay it forward endeavor. I know that right now I'm not going to be rolling in the cash going across the country, but I know that at the end there'll be opportunities to write a book or whatever, to make some money off the whole thing and really to launch my career. But the bigger thing for me, the bigger getting back truly is the experience, knowing at the end that I've done something that most people cannot say they've even come close to experiencing. It's craziness, skating across the country and starting a movement, starting a cause. That, that is payback for me, that's powerful. So, just wanted to share that with you. The more you give, the more you get, it's true. Now, it is Friday, Friday afternoon, Friday evening, depending on where, depending on where you are when you're watching this. And I want to challenge you to go out, do something unusual tonight, something a little bit outside your comfort zone, make something cool happen, break down your walls a little bit, have a good time, report back to me. I expect to report in the comments section after you're finished tomorrow morning. And that's about all for now. Austin S. Out.